sir. Next eight NFL teams' biggest pre-draft needs is the second-place finishers in divisions last year. Mm -hmm. um, let's start off with NFC North again. Let's go with the Vikings. I'll go first here. I'm going secondary and specific a cornerback. Vikings actually have a good team. They've got um, they've got the linebackers that are there. They got Kirk Cousins who's locked it for two or three more years. Dalvin Cook, Alexander Madison, the Adam Thielen, and Justin Jefferson. Give me a cornerback, pal. So for me, I feel like you're copying off my paper because that's exactly where I went. Secondary and specifically cornerback. They've struck out on a lot of cornerbacks lately. Mike Hughes, uh, Xavier Rhodes gave him a little bit for a while, but he's gone now as well. I honestly, this I say this tongue in cheek, but also kind of not tongue in cheek. You could argue that Kirk Cousins just isn't the guy, and they need a quarterback too. I was gonna that was my second guess. Was, yeah, they walked him. I, I mean, I, I don't want to throw anything under the bus because this is clearly who they're gonna go with, and it's not a pre it's not a pre draft need if you have no intention of of doing anything about it. So uh, yeah, I too went with the uh, the cornerback position. Um, the other honorable mention would be just beefing up the linebacking core. I know that Kendricks and Zaria Smith are there, just getting uh, getting back up in that one. But yeah, cornerback for me looks like the biggest need in my opinion for the uh for the Minnesota Vikings here. As far as you said quarterback was your kind of one of like eh. you're like, yeah, they locked him up. Who cares? <laughs> well I mean look who are they gonna go I mean like now that they've missed out on like Russell Wilson, obviously Aaron, they're never gonna trade Aaron Rodgers to the Minnesota Vikings. But uh you know you missed out on Deshaun Watson or any of those if you even tried for him. You're not gonna go get Jimmy Garoppolo to replace Kirk Cousins. You're not, not gonna get, go get Baker Ryan Mayfield. Either. You're not gonna get Matt Ryan like so yeah, it's not a need anymore. They may I doubt they will, but they may draft a quarterback in this in this uh in this draft this year. But uh they have we haven't really seen anything out of Kellen Mond, so we don't know. Fair enough. Saints, NFC South, second place finisher last year. I've got wide receiver. Um I know they got Michael Thomas on the roster, but I mean if Michael Thomas doesn't play again, we got little Jordan Humphrey. Congratulations to the Saints, right? Come on. Now, quarterback was also I was kind of flirting with there, but I think of Jameis Winston, Taysom Hill, and um, who else? Uh-oh. Ian Book. That's right. Ian, oh, no, never mind. Screw it. We're not going down that. He was terrible. Um, Yeah, we're going wide receiver. Give, give me some help. Give me a reliable guy. How about that? So I thought about wide receiver too, but actually I don't – I mean, like you said, with Alvin Kamara being out – uh, last year, I mean, Jameis Winston led them to what a five and two record or a six and two record with what he had basically in place right now. Alvin mm -hmm. Kamara can still be a viable receiver out of the backfield. Marquez Callaway had an up and down year, and I'm a big Traquan Smith guy mostly because he went to UCF. Um, but to me, I went offensive line. You just lost yeah. one of the best offensive line, one of the best left tackles in football, Teron Armstead, to the Dolphins. You yeah. got to replace him, you absolutely got to replace him. And I think that was the biggest need for me. The defense is still going to be strong. Uh, when Jameis Winston comes back, I love, you know, you know, I love Jameis Winston, but, uh, if yeah. Michael Thomas is, or is not there, I'm okay either way. And, uh, I think we're keeping Jameis Winston upright is the absolute biggest need for the New Orleans Saints this year. Let's go to the NFC West now, Aaron Rollins, you go first with the Cardinals. All right. So the Cardinals, I went with defensive line specifically, mm. um, you know, somebody to pair opposite of J.J. Watt because Chandler uh, Chandler Jones is not there. And J.J. Watt will miss time. We just know it's oh. it's just one of those things. Death taxes and J.J. Watt missing football games. With <laughs> it's just one of those things now that it's just going to happen. Uh, there were a couple of open uh, opportunities for me to pick. You could beef up the offensive line. You could also look at running back because James Conner is another one, I think, that won't last an entire season. And I know Benjamin, uh, Enos Benjamin, you know, had a flashes. But let's be honest, you probably want to get something a little better than that one-two punch uh, with Chase Edmonds being gone. But ultimately, I went with defensive line because uh, J.J. Watt's your best option. And to be honest, that's that shouldn't be something you should be hanging your hat on, in my opinion. In 2022, yeah. <laughs> yeah, in 2022, oh. yeah. So I look at this and I, I thought about the offensive line. I also thought about on wide receiver. Because, I mean, you got to get DeAndre Hopkins, okay? Rondell Moore, Rondell Moore really stepped up last year, I That's think. That's a fair point. Um, and you I, have Zach Ertz at the tight end position. Right. I looked at the defense, and I saw a glaring need in the secondary, specifically cornerback. 
Okay. You're telling me Marco Wilson, Jeff Gladney, Nate Brooks, and Jace Whitaker are your four guys? No, 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 no. We're not doing that. We are not doing that. Hell no. Give me a cornerback. Give me a secondary player. Although I do like your JJ, your your defensive line pick. I feel like that's another glaring need too. But I, I like the actually Isaiah Simmons in the middle, Zayvon Collins in the middle. But I think they definitely need to beef up either secondary or defensive line. So I went secondary. Jeff Gladley, another failed Minnesota quarterback. Cornerback. <laughs> Ooh. NFC least Eagles. Um. So here I'll go first. Here I went secondary cornerback again. Here's why. They have Fletcher Cox, Brandon Graham, Javon Hargrave, and Darren Hargra- Derek, Derek Barnett on defensive line, correct? They have the yeah. second least sacks. You know what that means, right? Those corners are not shutting him down. Sometimes you have to have covered sacks too. And with those four guys, you have at least a little bit of sacks, right? They That's also pretty good, though. Pretty good lineup, they, yeah. They also have the league worst completion percentage tied with the Jaguars. Teams completed almost 70% of their passes against the um, Eagles last year. So I went with the cornerback. I can understand that. I mean, Darius Slay is one of the better cornerbacks in the league, and it, it just didn't seem like it, you know, like you said, a lot of coverage sacks happened. Um, but you're, it may not be him all specifically. I went ahead and went with the elephant in the room. And to me, that's wide receiver. Now, I know they signed Zach I Pascal. I was close, yeah. I know they signed Zach Pascal. Quez Watkins had flashes. Devontae Smith should be fine, but go yeah. get one of these Ohio State guys because uh, they still have their first round pick, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Um, and I believe they have a Dolphins first round pick. I, I have to check on that. I'll look at but, that. But, um, or maybe it's a Colts from the Carson Wentz trade. Anyway, not important. Uh, oh. I think getting another top flight wide receiver, you know, to pair with Devontae Smith, even if it's not a rookie, if you go get, even if you go get Julio. I don't hate the fact that if you get Julio and he can stay moderately healthy, that he can boost. It's it's all going to be around getting Jalen Hurts the most weapons possible. And, uh, I mean, I, they made the playoffs with what they had last year. I think that they can only get better from here. And, like I said, no disrespect to Zach Pascal or Quez Watkins, but you uh, you can't have enough depth at the uh, skill positions. They have the Dolphins' 15th pick, the Colts' 16th, and their own 19th. So they got a pretty good chance at a wide receiver. They've got three picks in the first round, and they're all, like, right there. They're going to trade one of those. I have to believe. I, 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 they may, they may. I don't know what the wide receivers going to are going to take do them the all. <laughs> well, yeah, you could, you could argue. I don't know, that would be crazy. But I'm just saying. Like, I just, I wonder if they may package two of those to try to move up if they think a, a wide receiver that they want is going to go off the board. Remember, this team passed on Justin Jefferson. <laughs> Aaron said it first. You never know. We'll see. Pretty good idea though. Basically, for the Steelers, um, Aaron, I don't know if you heard about it. Offensive line is not very good. It was so bad they were one of the top five teams in um, yards per um, attempt. Not a completion, just yards per attempt. And I've I, – oh, for offensive line for the Steelers. Come on, give me a – I know we, you have Trubisky, Haskins, and Rudolph there. I think they're going to hold off on a quarterback. If, if Unless they just love Kenny Pickett or Sam Howell. I, I think they're just going to hold off on a quarterback. I feel like those three guys are good, <laughs> good enough. They can fill up a gap for a year. How about that? But I think you got to go with offensive line first and foremost. So I could see them drafting a quarterback, but I do think Mitchell Trubisky is the day one starter for 2022. Woo! I don't know how much I, I don't know how much oh, come on. you should really cheer about that, but that's second overall pick in history. I'm telling you. <laughs> Not that again. Better, better than Ryan Leaf. But uh, do you want me to go down the list? No, not um, again. I already got butchered. But it's offensive line. Like you said, they could make Mitchell Trubisky look relatively decent um, if they can keep him upright. And, you know, I look at a lot of the different spots. You know, Deontay Johnson and Chase Claypool. Okay, that's a pretty decent one-two punch. Anthony Miller coming over from, excuse me, uh, coming over from the Bears. Yes. Najee Harris, let's see how his sophomore season goes. I mean, he's got good weapons there. Fairmouth, or Fairmouth, however you say his name, played pretty well mm. as a tight end, except for that one fumble again that, that was led bad. To- Led to a tie against the Lions. Uh, the defense is still pretty good. I, you could look at the uh, the secondary next to Minka Fitzpatrick and consider yes. maybe upgrading that spot. But yeah, it's got to be offensive line because Najee, Najee, however you say his name, Najee Harris, yeah. just seemed like he was running into a brick wall every time he met the line of scrimmage. And he scored no fumbles. Uh, that's incredible. Absolutely incredible. So uh, yeah, I went OL as well. 
All right. Hey, Ronald, you go first. I'm switch again to my Colts. Biggest need. Biggest need for the Colts. What do you think I think the biggest need for the Colts is? I think you're going with wide receiver. I think you're absolutely 100% right. Woo! I am going with the wide receiver position. Another team that could look for uh, one of these Ohio State wide receivers or even Drake London. Go Drake London and Michael Pittman have two USC wide receivers uh, mm. in the same uh, in the same uh, room there with Matt Ryan and Jonathan Taylor. Could lead to something really well here. I, I think that, uh, like you said, you got to give everything in place uh, for Matt Ryan to try to be as successful as possible. The defense is pretty strong. They added, uh, I don't know how you say his last name, Brandon Fasison, Fasison uh, from the uh, from the Las Vegas Raiders here. That's a big upgrade. They added in Gakwe as well. Uh, so I think the defense is pretty strong. And I just think you really have to, you know, Kiki Kuti signing him in the offseason is not the answer uh, to your wide receiver problem. Paris Campbell's fine, but he's not a number two option. So no, I, think you gotta go, game. I think you got to go wide receiver here. So we have a lot of good young receivers. We got Michael Schreck, Sheehan, whatever. He was a seventh-round pick and actually stepped up and still is on the roster. Michael Pittman Jr., like you said, we added Kiki Kuti. Colin Granson is going to be a great backup to Mo Ali Cox when Mo Ali Cox does start aging. Well, I mean, that's all we got pretty much. That's the only guys I trust on that roster. <laughs> um, we're going right receiver here for me as well. Um, offensive line was close second because we lost our left tackle. I believe it's Eric Fisher, and then we also have no right guard. That's okay. Uh, we're going to address those for sure, but we definitely need a reliable wide receiver. It's not even close. I agree. Biggest needs for Aaron's Las Vegas Raiders. I'll go first here, and I'll go offensive line. Team is stacked. The team is stacked. But their offensive line is kind of above average. They were overperforming, in my opinion, which is good. But it's not great. Um, I think Coach um, – guy from the Patriots. McDaniels. Mike – yeah. What's his first name? Josh. Josh. If I want to say Mike. Josh McDaniels. Well, Mike McDaniels, isn't he the one that's – The Dolphins, uh, yeah. The, the Dolphins, yeah. Yeah. That's all. I don't know how – I have my, my own name in my mind. But Josh McDaniels is going to want – he's got the wide receivers with Devontae Adams. And I believe they got the other guy from the Colts. They got well. Demarcus Robinson, Devontae Adams, and don't forget, they have Hunter Renfro and Brian Edwards still on Love Hunter Renfro. That was of Darren Waller, low-key, low-key. Correct. Um, defense just added Khalil Mack. So we're going with offensive line. Defense, you want to have the best offensive league, which is very capable with that team, you got to go with offensive line and beef it up. So I considered offensive line as well. You're right. If they can get Alex Leatherwood, their first-round pick last year, to just play a little better, uh, get him in the starting lineup. He's not even starting at this point. So uh, if they could get him to play a little better, I, I I can see them branching away as far as their biggest need offensive line. I went with secondary, specifically strong safety. Jonathan Abram is atrocious. I've watched I've watched Las Vegas Raiders game. J Trevon Morig. Uh, Darius Phillips and Rocky Sins actually a formidable secondary, but Jonathan Abram cannot stop a nosebleed. He is oh. very bad at, at playing football. Uh, <laughs> no disrespect. <laughs> so I thought the biggest hole in that defense was strong safety, and that's an important position. So uh, for me, it was addressing the strong safety position. But, yeah, tip of the cap to uh, the old uh, offensive line there, of course, keeping Derek Carr upright with all his new toys. Least of the interceptions in the league last year, six by the Raiders. There you go. There you go. But Rocky Sin help, like you said, but give me a strong safety as well. Um, biggest needs for Aaron's Patriots. Aaron, why don't you go first here? This one was tough because yes. I really look at their roster, and of course they're not going to ditch Mac Jones. Everybody just all of a sudden soured on Mac Jones all of a sudden. They let, a rookie led them to the playoffs. Yes, they got destroyed by the Bills. Just wasn't their time. Yada, yada, this, yada, yada, that. But everybody's just so sour on Mac Jones already. But I look up and down the roster, for a, for a middling to average team, they've They're got great players. They've got great players everywhere. Like, I ultimately just had to go wide receiver because I think that's the weakest position that they have. And it's not to take anything from Jacoby Myers. He had a thousand yard season. Nelson Aguilar kind of revitalized his career. Kendrick Bourne was the deep threat that they never knew they needed yeah. uh, since, uh, you know, since Randy Moss left. Hunter Henry had a great year. Hopefully Smith can can uh, join him this year and having a relatively decent year. But 
ultimately, I just figured, you know, you know, Bill's not a flashy skill position guy, and he's not really been great in drafting wide receivers. One of them's still freaking on the roster, Nikhil Harry. Oh, but uh, I just felt like even if it's not in the draft, like go get Julio, go get Jarvis Landry. I don't know, go do something because I really have a hard time finding any other real weaknesses on your roster. It's a, it's a testament. I mean, the defensive line, four good guys. You could argue maybe Mac Wilson or Malcolm Butler. I mean, I know they brought in Malcolm Butler. You could argue he's not going to be J.C. Jackson, so you could look at cornerback. But I don't see a ton of real real weaknesses, and that's not a knock at the wide receiving core. It's just, like you said, can never have too many skill position players. Kyle Duggar and Adrian Phillips are great safeties and slash cornerbacks. You've got um, – Kyle Duggar doesn't even start. That's what I'm saying. Like their defense of secondary is incredible. Linebacker, they play a three or four defense, if I'm not mistaken, and linebackers can get to the quarterback. So it's not like you need an edge guy. It'd I mean, be Juwan nice. Bentley, Judon, Mac Wilson. Like I said, Mac Wilson played Kyle really guy well last can, year. Well, not Kyle Cobb. Lawrence guy. guy. Yeah, Lawrence, Lawrence I'm, guy. I'm, I'm, I'm on my mind here. I'm, 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 Kyle's I'm, brother. Kyle's brother. <laughs> but no, I, I believe like they, they don't even need an edge right now. Like just like you said, wide receiver. They had some guys who stepped up last year, but can we count on that again? I don't know. So I'm going to go wide receiver. You know, that's the thing. I mean, uh, you know, Dante Hightower, you know, gone. So we'll have to see what's, what's going on. Amen.